powered by Virginia. Radio. Approved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it, Roz. We on? What up, everybody? Listen, Wednesday night, you know what it is. We about to smoke, take a couple shots. And tonight we got a special guest. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that's a relative of mine, a cousin of mine. He got some good food. <laughs> this is TJ Walker is here in the building. You know what I'm saying? We got space in the middle. We waiting for somebody to pop up. They going to pop up. You know what I'm saying? When they pop up, they running a little behind, but we ain't going to worry about that. You know what I'm saying? We just going to get right to it. You know, so we got Loud always over there on the board getting it right. What up, what up? Roundtable Podcast. We in here. Power by Virginia Radio. We got Willie McLeod in here. What's good with you, man? Real spill what we talking about podcast. Facts. <laughs> Tuesday check that nights. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tuesday nights. I'm going to pop up in here. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, yo. No, I appreciate it. Definitely tap in if you on. You know what I'm saying? Share the live. Some of y'all waiting for me to share it. I ain't popped it up yet. Oh, but I'll pop it up now. So I can share it with the niggas, but we got some food here. And like, listen, I had a wing before the show. I can still taste it. So <laughs> <laughs> we gonna, we gonna get into that all that. I'm gonna taste another one. You know what I'm saying? And he got a shrimp po boy with bacon on it. Yes, sir. A shrimp po boy with bacon on it. I'm not gonna eat that, but he. You know what I'm saying? We gonna let somebody eat that, yo. You know what I'm saying? But. This shit about your ride. So, TJ, you know what I'm saying? Why don't you tell us how you got started, like, in the cooking, you know what I'm saying? Like, Mass. all that stuff. It's a long story, but we can get to it. We can get to it. Let's go. Um, <clears throat> Man, I've been doing this since I was about six years old, and that's a fact. Um, Everything that I do is kind of, you know, backed by my grandparents. So, my both my names, the Lily Reens, um, is basically my mom's mom and my dad's mom. Uh-huh. So, my grandma Irene and my grandma Lily. Their names put together, so it's called Lily Reens. That's where it all started. So I, I owed them that homage, you know. Yeah. So, you know, I, I follow you know, on my sleeves. Kind of got their initials on my sleeves, all my company shirts. Um, that way, you know, they always with me as I'm going through this journey. No, that's 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 a fact, and you know, Thanks. you know what I'm saying. So I'm sure you know you learned a lot cooking. A lot of you know what I'm saying you're cooking from being around them because I know they cook. You know what I'm saying, like get togethers and all that stuff like that they really be throwing it down so this food though like it's different you yeah. know what i'm saying like yeah. this food is different you know what i'm saying so like when did you really get into your own style of cooking you know what i'm saying like this is mine like you know what i'm saying man like, i always kind of like kind of dabbled in ideas you know grandparents may have showed you one thing in their way yeah. You know, but then I kind of put my own twist on everything. But really, when I really became my own, probably wasn't until I was like 18, 19, when I really started playing around with different types of cuisines and food and trying to. And I, I <clears throat> one thing that kind of pushed me to it was so many chefs were like, those two things don't go together. Well, my goal was to make it work. <laughs> and uh, that's kind of when I go in my lab, man, just kind of figure out how I can make two different items that people say don't work, make them mesh. And make it work. Because, listen, these peach habanero wings which i'm gonna show y'all in a minute is ridiculous peach Two bourbon hours. man peach, peach bourbon. bourbon i'm telling you peach bourbon excuse me listen only truck in the seven five with them listen probably the only person on yeah. the east coast <laughs> with them you know what i'm saying like i'm sure there's not too many places that have these peach bourbon wings yo and this sauce is thick too you know what i'm saying it's not really a runny sauce it's nice and thick so it's on every bite Yes, yes. That's part of that reduction process. You know, you got to let them reduce. 
He started out with a whole. I ain't give y'all the recipe now. I don't think I'm gonna give you the recipe. Yeah. He started out with a half a cup of bourbon. Just let it reduce, man. And then from there, you build it. Allow it to bloom. Y'all let it rest so it can bloom. That way you get all those flavors. It's a lot of flavors, yo. It's a lot of flavor in there, for sure. So let's talk about Lily Reams first. You know what I'm saying? That's the food truck. Yeah, that's the food truck and, and the catering company. And the, okay, so you do catering too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So listen, you need some food catered, but I'm telling you, these wings, <laughs> and it's not always like honey bourbon. Like you know what I'm saying? I went to the Roll and Press Cafe one time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Up there, you had like I don't even remember what that shit was, yo. But it was like a weird flavored wing, and I was like, damn, man, I did. I should get that. It's cilantro orange, probably. Yeah, um, cilantro orange wings. Something else is different, you know. Uh, that's the thing about our culture, man. I really like to kind of get us to indulge in different things, you know, step outside that box. So that's that's kind of my goal in everything I do yeah, is to listen, try to get our people get, to step out. You want to get our people to step out. Listen, you got to put it on a wing, yo. <laughs> like, you put it on a wing, niggas is going to eat that. That is, that's fact. You know that's what I'm saying? <laughs> like, niggas is going to eat that. So whatever you testing out, whatever flavors you tested out, whatever, throw that shit on a wing, bitch. And niggas will eat that shit, yo. Like, yo. It do not matter. Throw it on a wing, man. That's that's. Niggas try that shit, yo. Let's look at all these wing spots, yo. That's all wing stop doing at all those places. They just throwing shit on the wings. Yeah. Whatever niggas like, they keep on the menu. You know what I'm saying? Look, that's you what got, it's about. You know, listen. promote it. If the sales come in, they're making money on it. I'm gonna keep it. If it's not making me any money, I'm gonna get rid of it. No, that's so, true. But once I get you to try, you hook. That's that's kind of the motto, man. If yeah, I get you to just taste one, now only want. Now so I only want peach burger wings, yo. Like I only want my wings one way now. Yeah, just just all I need you is taste one. And, and listen, I'm gonna show you all the box in a minute. But all he needed to do is taste one. Just one, man. All he needed to do is taste one, yo. That's all I have. One. Come on, come on, taste one of these. Taste one of these peach bourbons. <laughs> Get in there. You know, I ain't Facebook savvy, man. I'm trying to figure out how to share this show. I just shared it to my page, so if you go on my page, you can share it from there. Them um, shits is crazy. Or let me try one of these out right here. Show them the peaches in the box. That's what I'm saying, yo. <laughs> like, y'all niggas gotta see wow. peaches. Yes, this is a peaches yeah, missile, in right? the box, yo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, the peaches <laughs> in the wow. box, yo. Me, like, look at these shits, blessings. yo. Blessings. No, I was gonna no, call no. the one that fell. Blessings. Oh, yeah. Blessings. 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 Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody's getting wings, yo. How you said? How you said? Lily rings. Lily rings. Lily rings. Make sure y'all pull up on Lily rings. Listen, I'm about to eat this, y'all. This shit is good, yo. Like if you would just be in here just to smell the smell, yo. I wish I could taste like Pope Boy bacon. Yeah. The Pope Boy got the real bacon on it. Yeah, real bacon, man. Listen, let me tell you. That, that yes, the po' boy you can get it with pork bacon or turkey bacon. I'm a, I'm a fan of the pork bacon, of course, because uh, that's the real bacon. But you know, uh, <laughs> but but I mean, it's a it's really put together well. I mean, the sauce is made on it; it it's exceptional. Um, fresh shrimp, lightly coated, not overly breaded, um, not overcooked. Uh, Garnish with some green onion. We also have our you know. A little bacon up there. You got. You have to use a bacon. Can't go wrong with bacon, guys. You just can't go wrong with bacon. Mm-hmm. Bacon make everything taste good. So we added some bacon to it, and I'll tell you something. I put my po' boy against anybody's. It's like that. He said against anybody. So anybody Don't out matter. there making a po' boy, yo, pull up, pull, pull up. up on them, Loud facts. and get up. that. Listen, this wing is banging. To? to my food truck, wherever I am, pull up. <laughs> You know, I shared it. I shared it to my page, so my followers are already there. But TJ Walker on Facebook, Lily Reens seven five seven, just like the shirt say in the front, Lily Reens uh, seven five seven on IG, and Lily Reens on Facebook as well. So it's three different pages. Yeah. Just moving around with it. But, I just crush that wing yo that shit was good as a yeah, that's about seven eight more in there get to it Listen, that shit get some whole peaches in there i know i see the peaches yeah, you gotta yo. get you I a fork. fork you gotta get you a fork get those peaches out of there the they've been, they been soaking in that it. bourbon so they're gonna taste exceptional you know let's <laughs> <laughs> hold on 
Listen, What's yo. The, uh, all right, so the po' boy next. Somebody, somebody, try somebody got to try the po' boy. Yo, you, right. yeah. Come up, try that po' boy, you, man. You got to cut it in half. <laughs> they hold. Try that. Uh, <laughs> the po' boy. They need a knife to cut it in half. Roundtable podcast. Roundtable right. podcast. We got food in here tonight. You know what I'm saying? TJ Walker, Lily Reens, the Road and Press Cafe. Yes, we sir. in here. So where, where the truck gonna be at next? Um, <clears throat> so the truck will be uh, next week, next Saturday. Next Saturday, I'll be on Little Creek Road. Um, one of my business partners, he owns a company called Kellogg's Hospitality. So we teamed up. So Lily Rings teamed up with Kellogg's Hospitality, and we're gonna be on Little Creek Road on Saturday doing an Easter egg hunt, free to the public. All the kids, bring your kids out, free giveaways. Um, every year we try to do something to get back to the community. Um, this year we were kind of doing it through an Easter egg hunt. Um, the food truck will be there. Full menu. Pull up. I'm telling you, pull up, pull up, pull up. Full menu. Full menu. To include these wings and this shrimp po' boy. Yes, yeah, so I could talk about a couple of new items that I haven't really, I haven't really seen yet. Well, tell us. About um, so I have. Well, you seen the surf and turf cheese steak. Basil cheese steak has a homemade crab spread on it. It's topped with fried shrimp and a house sauce missile. And in the newest item, we have a surf and turf salmon. So it's a cheese steak, salmon on top, house sauce. It's like a bang bang sauce. Wow. Telling you, man. Some, some, it's something special. I ain't never had this, no bang bang sauce. When I pull up next time, we're we gonna bang bang sauce. I'm bringing some bang bang in here. I'm telling you, it, it's it's. It's it's amazing. Facts. Some good stuff, man. Some good stuff. Facts. No, listen. If anything else is tasting like what's already up here, that truck is winning. Man, the truck was a, and it's crazy, man, because about seven, eight years ago, I bought a truck, and uh, the motivation wasn't the same. Like I was just grinding, but it wasn't the same. I was building it, and I was like, man, this something ain't right. So I sold it. And then, like last year, I was like, man, now I'm ready. Now this is the opportunity. It's ready. I'm going to seize this moment. And, bro, every, every since, I, I promise you, I, I kind of document this journey from the time I bought it to when I finished it. And the, literally the very first day, the very first day, probably did. I don't really want to put my numbers out there, but I'm just, <laughs> I'm just let's just say sold out truck. And we 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 did over we did over four thousand first day. Boy. We're talking thousand dollars an hour. Truck. You know, so that was it was, that was a blessing. So was, so open for four hours. We did over four thousand. So think about a thousand dollars an hour. So that's the kind of way to look at it. And and then from that day forward, man, it's been doing well. It's been doing well. I I, I don't wanna. You can't jinx it when God on your side, but you know. I, I just I'm, the journey is good. That's that's all I can say, man. The blessings are coming. I'm humble. I ain't greedy. Um, I just want to feed the youth, man. You know that's that's the goal. Okay. Get no. back. That's a fact. That's a fact. So we talk about Lily Rings and the food truck and all that, but let's talk about you got a spot. You know what I'm saying? The Road to Press Cafe in Norfolk. Yes, 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 yes. Oh man. Twenty eighteen. Uh, we opened Rolling Press Cafe, um, and it was doing exceptional. I mean, it was doing well, extremely well. Yeah. And um, COVID came, and since it's in the business district, it kind of hit us heavy. It could because all the businesses around us pretty much started working from home, so it, it hit us hard. Um, so I decided to just kind of pause it. You know, just yeah. we ain't gonna shut it down. I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna revamp it. So. Uh, since I still kind of have access to that building, I started doing, I segued to intimate dinners. Now there's groups of twos, intimate, husband and wives, guys trying to, you know, take the lady on a date and um, talking whole shebang, rose petals from the door to the table, bottles of wine, champagne, mixed drinks. You can choose from three courses to 18 courses. There are no limitations. Boy, if you want to go Indian, courses. we go Indian. You want to go French, we go French. Didn't matter. No limitations. And it took off. And it was it's exciting, man. These people, like, I have couples because be, because. And I, I, I can honestly say the pandemic, for me, was a blessing. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, because I didn't miss a beat from the, from the pandemic. Yeah. It, it it didn't. It actually just people stopped eating out. When they start stop eating out, it was like, yo, we need a private shelf. Come to the crib. Come to the house. You know, or come to my you know my beach house or wherever they are. So I was on a move. Yeah, I yeah. was teaching. Then go do a private dinner. So I think that I, I've I've done more business through the, the pandemic than I ever done in my life. So I'm pandemic didn't do me no 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 harm. I'm cool with it. Like so, you know, a lot of lives were lives were lost. You know, and that's the sad part about it. But you know, from a business standpoint, I, I didn't I didn't hurt from it. It didn't let it get you down. Nah nah, it just made me hungrier. That's all. It, it, you know. Right. So when so when is the store gonna be back open like full time for people to um, come in? So it's crazy. We we rewrote the menu. Um, and Will the bourbon wings be on there? Where they at? So Will the peach bourbon so wings be on there. Peach bourbon menu? wings is kind of a TJ special. So that's like a food I have truck not I have, I have not released that recipe to any of my staff. When they when I when they, my staff get on the truck, it's already made. Two gallons made. <laughs> <laughs> like like no one knows what's going on. Two gallons already made, but I am working on bottling it, so it will be bottled soon. Um, okay. But the restaurant space is actually going to be opening back up. Burp. Uh, next month that's the goal uh, I'm gonna start training um, I've, I've been doing some interviews which has been really difficult um, getting staff in this industry you gotta be able to trust them because they're handling money handling product they're giving it away to their friends Yeah. so in this industry you gotta be able to trust them so um, I found a couple people that I really trust and uh, we're gonna start training yeah, we're gonna start training and uh, hopefully aiming for the first if that don't work then it's still coming, you know. You know, I just want to make sure all the kinks are worked out. We don't miss a beat, and uh, you know, we back at 500 East Main Street, Norfolk. 500 East Main Street, Norfolk. 500 East Main Street, Norfolk. You heard what he got. And that's the same location where we do the intimate dinners. You know, same exact location. So will you still be doing like the intimate dinners and stuff? Hey man, make your segues. It don't stop. <laughs> I started it. Fire. Don't stop. So you can get rolling press by day and intimate dinners with Chef TJ Walker at night. Don't when stop. You, when you're doing the teaching, do you ever have like couples ask you to come in and teach them and stuff like that? Be a um, I do. Um, I host something called Sojourns. Um, and Sojourns are basically cooking classes for okay. couples. Um, and, and with those, you can kind of segue them as well because those cooking classes kind of go to right mix classes where basically with the food, I also involve alcohol or drinks or wines or wine service or cheese um, uh, charcuterie board tasting. I mean, we can kind of segue that many ways, but yeah, definitely, we definitely do it all times. What is that? Say that again. Um, charcuterie, charcuterie board, board is. is you want to explain? It? Like, 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 no, like, you can explain yeah, yeah, it better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can explain it better to me, but like, it's like one of them boards. Like sometimes you watch those movies and the people be like in the kitchen and they got like a big board to be having cheese and like sausage and oh. shit on it and all yeah, that shit like that yeah, okay. on one joint. That's it. Yeah. Okay. It's just basically on yeah, most of my cool. boards it's just yeah. you know I do some different uh, preserves up there Ooh. crackers and toasted bread and preserve cheese. Preserve joint I might want to try. Yo. Yeah, I like cheese. preserves. Uh, we do like dehydrated fruit um, pickled items, s- summer sausage, different types of capicola hams, stuff like that. And it, you can get as creative, different nuts, almonds, mm-hmm. um, as creative as you want to be. Um, a lot of soft cheeses as well. We do a lot of borson and brie cheese, stuff like that. So okay. we try to get as creative as we can with those. Shout out to my Delta sisters too, because I know they're watching. Um, my Shout Delta out. sisters, we working on some things with those charcuterie boards coming soon. Okay. okay. Something okay. big, something big. Okay. <laughs> See, we don't just smoke up here. We yeah. teach too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> y'all can tap in if y'all have questions or whatnot. Try us, call yeah. in. Where's the, the phone building? at? Oh, the phone's over there. What's the phone Definitely number? call in, yo. Oh, the phone number seven five seven nine six four nine three six seven. You got the phone over there. I was looking for that, John. You know what I'm saying? Definitely call in. I got chicken. <laughs> All sides of joint over here. Chicken bones and shit. Bourbon, peach, yeah, bourbon, bourbon peach, peach shit. Like my lips are still a little hot. Yeah, what is that? I was going to ask the heat. you. I thought it was just me. So it's a little spice from there. What's that? Yeah. Oh, man. As a, 
I'm glad y'all could taste that kind of because a lot of times I've been working on trying to get that to peek through just a little bit. Yeah. I, I, see, I don't, I don't like, like it to be overpowered. See, I don't like spicy stuff. So, yeah. like, when I get something that has spice, like, I could really taste it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, so like, I try to get it so that it don't, it don't, it's not spicy. I just kind of wanted to kind of peek through just a little bit. Little it definitely but, uh, comes through on the end. Nah, nah. I, uh, okay. I roast some peppers. I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna explain the type, but it's a roasted pepper. And I kind of blend it up, and it goes into the into the reduction. Perfect. Okay. So just kind of have a, have a good heat control. Delicious. Thank you, Perfect. thank you, thank you, thank you. Right now, okay. There's a couple of times I've heard you say reduction. Like, what exactly is a reduction? So basically, it's just putting it on heat and allowing the volume to diminish. So if I start with say eight ounces. I'll, I'll heat it until it gets to four ounces. And what that does, it allows those sauces to get thick and more elastic. Okay. Allow them to stick to the wings. So that's so why, why that Pick it up. It's like not that. all running off. It's not yeah. all stretch off. It's, they stick. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's when, how you get that spice on your lips afterwards, though, because that shit is stuck yeah. to your gums. <laughs> One of the things I like, I like to do with my wing sauces <laughs> is um, after I reduce it, I allow it to cool only because once you allow it to cool, it kind of gel. So that really allows it to stick a little better. So. Yeah. yeah, it's my little trick. I like my little it's, trick. It's definitely sticking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's good. What happened? Well, I thought you were gonna try this po boy, yo. Yeah, I'm good. I had enough chips. Is anyone test yo? So well, I'm gonna test this po boy. Man, yo. you gotta try that po boy. I'm trying to tell you that sauce that I make for that po boy. Man, let me see this sauce. This, this brown sauce down like here. It's a mess. I'm telling you, man. You gotta taste it It's like it's like that. It's you like gotta come that. up now, loud. You gotta come up, get it. Get, look, <laughs> look at Wes' face. Yo, listen, I don't even really like shrimp. This yeah, is good, yo, and the yo, sauce yo. is good. I was surprised he ate the joint. Yeah. Nobody else was trying it. The sauce is, I don't know what kind of sauce this is, but it's good. Uh, and it's just enough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not over sauced. Yeah. And it's like bread. What kind of bread is this? Let me get a pool boy. Let me get uh, we use a, a, a oh, soft roll. It's a soft, soft roll. roll. It's a soft roll. Yeah. Um, like it, like it, like it. Soft roll. Well, can't take it no more. Let me get a piece of that. <laughs> Come grab a piece. You want a piece? Oh, no, I'm good. <laughs> it's the pork for me. <sighs> if I knew, I wouldn't have put that pork on there okay. just so you can try it. This joint is right. This joint Please, is right. You're yeah. like, there's shrimp in every bite. I need mean, that turkey bacon, yeah, the real bacon. Ah, real bacon. Bacon in here. Turkey bacon. Just turkey adds turkey. the right amount of offset to the shrimp and then the sauce. Mm. The sauce is banging, yo. <laughs> Listen, this shit is good, yo. How that shit loud? That shit right. Loud is quiet. Yeah, quiet. yeah. That's what's happening here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an explosion, man. All the different flavors start tapping on different pa different parts of your palate. Yes. This is perfect. This is perfect, po' <laughs> boy. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So, usually when you make this po' boy, like, is the like, is it hot? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It, see, I mean, I brought it here, so it's still yeah. kind of like. No, I just wanted I, to know because like it's good how it is. So he you eating, know what I'm saying? Look, so so. <laughs> well, you so he eating a a no, room the temperature. Already cooked. There are po boy cold po boy. He eating like a room temperature po boy. He said it's missile. So typically they hot shrimp fresh out the grease. Um, the bread freshly open. E everything is fresh. So on my on the truck and in the restaurant, we we pre prep. But everything's cooked to order. So there's no holding well, just to kind of hold it. It's cooked to order. You order it, we drop it. Um, so we, we're right now in the food truck running like a four to seven minute wait time. That's it. Okay. And so when we rolling, rolling. Nah, that's fast. You rolling them in and out. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what it, anywhere from four to eight menu items. I mean, our menu is like 16 items, but typically I try to do four to eight. Um, so right now, though, I didn't bring it because it doesn't hold up well. Yeah. But my number one, the number one food truck item is fried corn. Fried corn. Fried no one in, corn. No one else, just me. Fried corn. On the cob. On the cob. 
make a sauce from agave, which is uh, it's all natural. Sweet. Yeah, sweet. But it has salt, it has garlic and stuff added to it as well. But let me tell you, that's the number one seller. I could do two cases of corn in one, one in four hours. We run two cases of corn. Five dollars a year. Um, five dollars a year. And Wait, so it's corn like a cob on a cob, um, and then it's fried. We used to have it on the stick, but it was it wasn't as convenient. So I took it off the stick and put it in a boat, and um, it's on a cob. I make a specific type of batter. Mm-hmm. Um, can't really explain. <laughs> make a batter. We fry it. We drop it in deep fryer. When it come out, it's plated. Green onions, chives, two sauces. Pick it up, and you indulge. Go in. It's number one seller. I mean, it it jumped like it that. I wrote that recipe. I wrote that recipe in my in sleep. Dreams. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so I just heard y'all talking about that earlier. So, you just like you having random dreams about sauce and shit, <laughs> and then you just like wake up and like, oh, I gotta write that down. That's great. So, like, what happens with that? Oh, man, it, it's shit. interesting. I think from the time I was probably a teenager, um, when I really started like becoming myself in this food industry, um, I would just dream about food items and it could be it would be weird because I could start dreaming and just be like I use the peach berry wings as an example I'll just be like picking some peaches or something and then I'll start cooking them and I was like hmm and then i wake up and i write cook peaches or something you know <laughs> and then literally the next dream would be something about wings or how I can make them work and I'll just jot all that stuff down so I had this book it's just it looked like scribble scrabble but I could read it when I get up in the morning I'm like yo <laughs> I dream about peaches and wings. I got to make this sauce. So I, I, I get in the lab at my house and I just get to it. Just just playing around with it until I perfect it. And once I perfect it, I write that recipe out. I mean, pretty much majority of all the recipes that I've written, believe it or not, came to me in my sleep. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Come to me in my sleep. And I hold on to them. And those are the most, the dearest recipes for me. Um, because I know... I didn't get it from anywhere else. I know I didn't. I wasn't reading through a cookbook, and then I said I could create this and make it my own. Nah, I mean, if I woke up, even if it's already out there, I didn't find it. I just boom, and I just wrote it down. And I just make it my own. So that's that's, that's definitely dope. Try, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's it. You okay. Definitely got to dream big. Well, you know, something I teach because I'm a culinary instructor full time as well. Uh, for some dope ass high school kids, bro. Like I never teach at college level again. Like mm. dope, dope ass high school. Kids. Yeah, because you usually teach at the. Yeah, I did the college at the, level. At the school, not my thing. Just a bunch of. I ain't gonna say that. Okay. But uh, adults that don't listen. Like yeah. when you get some kids and you can form that brain and give them a different perspective on different things, and you can also be an outlet to kind of keep them on the right path. Like that's a whole nother animal. So now I'm I'm kind of like a mentor and a culinarian. In the same breath, so that's that's the man. That's my biggest accomplishment. Like I I, I literally enjoy doing that. And man, like to, to take a kid who has never even been in the kitchen, or if they in the kitchen, they taking noodles and putting them in a bowl <laughs> and popping them in the microwave and then throwing some Cheetos in there and thinking that's like gourmet. Yeah. And then you get into a classroom and you're like, oh man, and you don't shoot them down, but like, like I don't shoot them down. I'm like man, that ain't nothing. Like nah, I'm like okay, I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna take these noodles. <laughs> and now you're going to make these 65 cent noodles I don't know how much noodles cost 50 cent noodle pack of noodles and now we're going to make that a $10 noodle plate so now you're going to make you because I don't box any of my students in. you can be as creative as you need to be and I'm just going to help guide you along to make it work so, so you get the peach bourbon wings yo like yeah. Yeah. have they seen those <laughs> like you bought those in on them like yo look at Man, this shit like you could do I, anything I have here you go peach bourbon wings so, <laughs> they be like yo yeah you, you know what's crazy <laughs> every business I own from my catering company to my restaurant to the food truck my employees are all students I taught over the past eight years that they, yeah. they think we think alike they know like chef like it like this like I know I know what he like like so I, I always I put them in a place where they can manage it they can yeah. kind of mold someone from the outside but in every business I have I always use my students because they already know yeah yep so they, they already know that's crazy 
You know what I'm saying? That's that's it's dope. It's dope, but it's crazy too. You know what I'm saying? That you know, at least they know like they working towards something. Like you yeah, say like, hey, I'm doing all this. When I would get a job, I could go get a job with him and be hiring. And he gonna hire yeah. me as long as I was one of the good students. <laughs> Look, Trust. man. I, Trust. I, I, bro, that's crazy because, man, I, I have I have some dope students that have, like, since I've been teaching, we've, they've been putting this city, Hampton, on, like, on the map. Like, I have students that have food. They have food literally in space right now, in that space station right now. Like, they won a national championship competing against other schools, and they, they as a winner, your food goes to space. Bro, I'm talking about like orbit space, bro. Like it's crazy. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah yes. And, and we we have in these kids, we still have a relationship today. And that was just like three, three, four years ago. And in 2015, the same thing. And you know, I also coach a team of chefs that like compete all around the world. Like we start out here, at local competitions. They get schools from, I mean, schools from everywhere come in, and they just kind of. I mean, and we ranked like 22 in the nation, like nationwide, Dang. which isn't bad. You know, it isn't no. bad with some students just from right here in Hampton. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so it's just opportunities, and they take it, you know. So I, I enjoy what I do, man. Yeah. And I guess it's good if you see them, like, really taking advantage of what they've learned and going out there and doing stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, because then you get to see, like, who's really – like here to do it and then who's just here because they just uh yeah, they yeah. want to learn how to just make a couple of things you know that happens a lot and that happens because the way the school system set up they take these classes that are like cte or like culinary or home ec classes and they just dump those kids in there they yeah. really don't want to be there they just dump them there yeah but little kids i like i like the ones that's never been in the kitchen they hate cooking i like the ones that like i ain't cooking i ain't doing that those are the ones i like because by the time we get to the end, they're the best students in the world. <laughs> best students in the world, man. I'm telling you. Like, the ones you can turn, and they just be like, yeah, I don't know what I want to do with my life. I, you know, I'm just going to hustle. I'm like, nah, yeah. nah, you're going to hustle. We're going to hustle the right way. Like, I'm going to show you how to do this. Trust. You know, I'm going to show you how to really get out here and do this. Yeah. And, and you ain't got no five to ten behind you. You're going to get it. Right. And that's that's kind of my motto, man. And, and I, I've been fortunate enough to reach them. I mean, even the ones that you get to call, like, yo, this this student right here, he always in trouble, always suspended. Uh, he ran away from home. I ain't seen him. Yeah. Uh, he always been in culinary. He's been here every day. <laughs> like, I don't have no issues. And it, you know, so, so I, I like that, man. I don't, I don't have issues. I, I don't even write students up, man. Yeah. <laughs> eight years, one student. Come on, man. Like, eight years, one student. That's it. And they don't come in there wild out like that? No, no Not, not the Chef Walker. They don't. We cool, <laughs> we cool, man. Like bro, I support them kids. Like go to basketball games, soccer games, field hockey. You know they call me and say, "Yo, I got issues at home. Yo, I got you. What you need? What's your cash app? You know, I'm, I'm on it. Like they like my kids. You know what I'm saying? I think somebody just knocked on the door. No, somebody got caught in there. Or something. Oh, uh, yeah. Man, I don't know these peach bird wings. Got to call it my name, man. I'm about to get me one. I'm going to get you one, yo. I'm about to eat this po' boy. I'm going to eat the po' boy. I, eat I, the po boy. I, I haven't eaten the... no bread. I haven't eaten bread because I've been kind of trying to get this beach body right. <laughs> you know, the weather about to break. Yeah. <laughs> man, look. Yeah. 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 Let, me, let me tell you, man. I um Two years ago, I was 230 pounds. I'm, I'm, I'm under 200 now. But not because I I just watch what I eat now. I just kinda cut back. I don't eat as late. Not eating all crazy. I cut I cut these carbs and they'll fall off. So no diet, you just <coughs> carbs. I just cut carbs. That's that's my main thing. I cut carbs. I do a little cardio. You know, I do a hundred push ups a night. Mm -hmm. But that's really I only I used to go to the gym faithfully, but it was like sucking up my time. When I say my time, I I could be out here getting this bag. I'm in the gym with weights. I'm good. I'm gonna get money. Slinging these, <laughs> slinging these peach, peach wings. bourbon wings, bitch. <laughs> I'm about to have another one, yo. Like, <laughs> listen, these shits is good as a bitch, y'all. Man, this pole boy's good too. Let me tell y'all something. 
I don't smoke though, but I can imagine how how y'all feel when y'all be you start eating and you like, oh man, it's cold but it's good. I don't smoke though, like, you know what I'm saying? I got that's my disclaimer. I'm on live. Listen, after I hit the pole boy, after I hit the pro boy, I lift the blunt up. I hit that shit, yo. Like, that shit I just... said dope, not dope. You said that. <laughs> I don't smoke dope. Uh-huh. You thought I said dope, by the way. Uh- <laughs> No, no, no! I ain't say that. I said, no, you said dope. dope. Yeah, yeah, not dope. Right. <laughs> yeah, man. I know that food got that quiet. I know that. Yo, listen, I'm trying not to be like this. Shit is banging. It's po' boy, man. Po' boy is banging too. Yep, so sorry about that, yo. You had to see me. You had to see me get wicked with that wing real quick, yo. Like, napkins, man. Bro, yeah, I got you a napkin, yo. Right, my lips is greasy. My lips is greasy, but it's all good, yo. We got that good shrimp po' boy and these <laughs> peach bourbon wings, yo. And there's peaches in the thing, yo. In the joint, like there's peaches, nigga. Like peaches, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, the only other chef, the only other person we had up here that could cook was Chef Toro. He had some food up here. That shit was banging too. But it won't these. <laughs> like it won't these, yo. Like Jesus. So if y'all could just smell it, 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 it you would understand a little bit about what we're saying. But so, you know, you do the teaching, you get your students right, a lot of them work for you. Like, your students that probably haven't worked for you, that was good students, like, where do they, like, end up? You know what I'm uh, saying? Like, they end up in restaurants. That's a great up- question, man. Um. So since I teach on a high school level, a lot of my students, if they're like really solid students, um, they typically go to college for free um, or at 50 percent rate because um, we do everything in our power to try to get them scholarships. And um, I have right now I have probably three or four students down at Johnson and Wells and, and Charlotte. I have one specific student who down there giving them hell. Like they like, <laughs> yo, we got this girl came in as a freshman. And like working circles around everybody, oh, shit. challenging the teacher like, "Yo, nah, nah, let me show you how I'm. I was, I was <laughs> taught this way." And teachers reaching out like, "Yo, what did you, what did you do, to this girl? Why she so seasoned?" <laughs> and man, that's that's all like, man, that stuff make you feel good. It make it make you feel good, man. So I mean, most of my students they either if they're really into this culinary thing, they either go to college for culinary or for business because they want to be entrepreneurs and own their own business. Um, and I do have some that are strong enough. They just go straight into the workforce, straight into, and that's that's everyone's not made for college. True, you know some of these students they can come out high school with a serve safe industry certification and go straight into the restaurant industry and do extremely well and go in making more than half the other people work there because they have an industry credential behind them. So, okay, so yeah. you really be setting them up for the for the long haul if they want it. Definitely, you know with anything, saying? you know, you always get out of it what you put into it. Yeah. Um, what was that feel? Damn. Listen, I need a soda or something, yo. Like, <laughs> that shit is killer. That po' boy is, woo. Yo, there's water, man. Yeah, so I got this big water over here. You know what I'm saying? So, damn, but that shit's crazy, yo. So, Let's uh, all right. Oh, I think the wing got me stuck. Hold on. Look, he got the eye this y'all. And the wing got me stuck for a minute. You know what I'm saying? But so where's the um, the Lily Reen? Like where y'all gonna be posted up at over the next couple weeks? See people. You know what I'm saying? People can catch you out there. So. Um, 
if you want to follow me, follow the page on Instagram. Yeah, put your joints out there. It's Lily Reens, L I L L I R E N E S 757. And that's on Instagram. Um, and on Facebook, you can just follow again Lily Reens or TJ Walker, which is me. It's my personal page, but it's attached to all my businesses. Um, 100% professional page. Um, just just follow the page. Um, you'll see everything that we're doing. It's facts. And when I say we, it's not because I have business partners. It's because my staff are my partners. So even though I'm the owner, um, it's still a we because I can't do it without them. No, that's a fact, but they don't get the they don't get the recipe to the wings. Nah, nah, the wings, nah. The wings stay cooked. Wings is already <laughs> ready when they come in to work. When like, they get hey, there. Just hustle off these right here, yo. When they out, they out. <laughs> As they ain't giving that up, yo. Nah, I feel you. Plus, if I start bottling it, let them niggas get it from the store. That's it. That's it. Well, bottle it coming soon. Coming bottle. soon. Listen, I'm going to get a bottle of that shit. I'm going to try to cook, <laughs> try to cook my own Jones and see how that shit comes out. I got an air fryer, too. I'm gonna see what's air up. Air fryer. So I, I got yeah. my um air fryer wings. So man, it's funny because I've I've been against the air fryer for a long time. I right? was too until my wife wanted one and then I bought her one. Yeah. And then like <laughs> she was using it and like the meats and shit was coming out like I was like, damn, like yo, this shit kinda <laughs> aight. This shit kinda aight. Like I, I fuck with this joint. I haven't used it personally myself yet. But mm. I've eaten food from it, right, you know right. what I'm saying? And it's, Sorry, I was against, though, right? I was against it for years, like See? forever, yeah. until until I bought one. Like I was against it, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to eat microwave? that. Nah, I was just cooking shit, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, like right, right, right. The air fryer just looked like a different shaped microwave, like it's just microwaving <laughs> your shit, you know what I'm saying? And you, you know and you good? So like. like <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I was always against it until I tried it, but the shit worked. Yeah, man, when I got this air fryer, right? <laughs> so, my my son, uh, my oldest son, Jarmel, he, when he go to my mom's house, like, they, my, my brother and my mom, they use the air fryer a lot. So, he uh, kind of got these little ideas, and uh, he came home with an air fryer one time. He was like, yo, dad, I bought your air fryer. <laughs> so, man, I'm not using that shit. What's wrong with you, man? I'm not using that. This is what I do. I don't use no air fryer. Man, he he got to going in the kitchen one night. He made him some chicken wings or whatever. Cooked them in the air fryer. French fries in there beside the chicken at the same time. Right? I said, that's something. Else. He's like, nah, that air fryer. I'm trying to tell you, man. <laughs> it's going to cook it. Ah, he could go on, go on about it. Man, listen, he pulled them, put them on his little plate. I walk by. You know how you walk by. You just grab one on the way to the back of the house. I grab the fry. <laughs> oh, shit. It's fried crunch. crunchy. It's crunchy as a bit. <laughs> it's all, it's all taste like it was in the microwave. Look, on my way back, I passed through again. I said, let me grab one of these chicken wings. Like, oh, man. It's crispy, too. That's right. Bro, and it even, still be juicy, yo, too, yo. He put like, a flour on it and everything. Drop that thing in the air fry. Fry that, man. So, yo, I just, now I play around with it. Well, not as much. But my son, he'll he'll cook whatever in there. And he'll just say, Dad, you want some? And I eat it. It is what it is. Yeah, you know, for a chef, I eat I eat pretty simple unless I'm going out. You know what I mean? At home, yeah. I eat I make some turkey sandwiches. And <laughs> I keep it simple at home. And every once in a while, I step it up when I'm trying something new because my kids are my guinea pigs. Like, <laughs> I like, always had that question: like, what do chefs do at home? Do they just like eat nah. bowls of cereal because you're tired of cooking? Yeah, I don't really cook a lot. I eat out more than I cook, and um, that's the problem. That's something else I'm working on. Financially, financially that don't work. Yeah, financially that don't work. Yeah. But so now I'm probably cooking. Out of seven days, I probably cook three, maybe four. And we eat out. We like yo, whatever. We go wherever, bro. <laughs> what y'all want? What you got taste for? And my kids, they not like normal kids either. Like my eight year old, like your dad, I want oysters tonight, like raw. Yeah, yeah. My old son, he like, dad, we had lamb chops tonight. I'm like, yeah, that's so we have some lamb chops. They live with a chef, like go, you gotta like, go all the way for it. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like go all the they, way for it. I want all types of yeah. shit, yo. <laughs> bro, if I put a hot dog on, it's like, yo, yeah, my hot dogs are baby. They don't like, they're looking like, what? Nah, it was, what you, you got mean? some chili and some other shit already ready for yeah. those shit, yo. My kids, they, they funny, ain't about man. to serve me no plain hot dog, They, they funny. <laughs> nah, we went out the other night, my 8-year-old and my 14-year-old. It was like, yo, we get oysters right. I'm like, 
Mm. Yeah, man. Man, we go. They both got a dozen. And then both won another dozen. Damn. I was like, man, y'all killing the pockets. <laughs> but <laughs> but we, oh, we ate them, man. We sat there. We crushed them oysters, four dozen man. oysters. Yeah, we crushed. I'm telling you, we absolutely crushed them. Oh. And they... And then my oldest son turned around, was like, "Yo, Dad, I think I'm gonna get some uh, some flounder too." He ordered some flounder. He eat though. He he he. He don't play. He get it down. He get it down. But they they uh they not typical kids, man. They will eat anything. They at least try it for me. They'll try it. If they don't like it, they are gonna tell you anything. Frog legs, goop. Have they tried these? Oh, my my oldest son addicted. He addicted to them, yo. Yeah. Cause I gotta know, like, if they don't like them, I gotta figure out what's wrong with them. Yeah, they, 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 they crush those all day long. Well, I'd be, I'd be two thirty, bitch. If I was eating those shit all the time, bitch, I'd be big as a bitch. Yeah, man. That shit, listen. But yeah, they're they're pretty much. If I told them, man, we're gonna try skate wing tonight, they gonna say, all right, let's try it, Dad. They give it a shot one time. <laughs> One time. They're going to get a shot. They like it. They like it. They don't. They ain't going to touch it no more. See, now nah, I'm too picky. I'm too picky of an eater for that, yo. Like, See, I, I was just talking about that box. Yeah. You got stuff outside of it. I'm too, I'm too picky of an eater Yeah, you that, have to. Yo. I got you on peach bourbon, though. So you all right. You're yeah, all right. but you put it on the wing. Like <laughs> I said earlier, yo, if you so, want to try some shit, throw it on the wing. So that's the avenue. I got you. I got you. Niggas will eat it, yo. You want to try a new sauce or something, throw it on the wing. I got and you. serve it to niggas, yeah. yo. Listen, a wing and a prayer. If it, work, <laughs> if it works on the wing, if niggas give you thumbs up with it on the wing, you can put it on anything. Fact. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> always start with the wing, yo. It's, it's a... Yeah, I've played with so many wing sauces in the last few years. Mm. I mean, there's no limits to this stuff, man. I know I probably wrote 100 wing sauces. See what I'm saying? With ease. And, and a lot of them don't make it to the forefront. To the forefront, though, a lot of them like ass. Ah, now, what, know, what mm. makes them not to make it? Because your son say he ain't like them, or um, you know what I'm saying? Like, what makes it? What makes it not make it to man, the menu? I think I have a pretty extensive palate, and if I taste it and I don't check all my boxes, I go back and start trying to dabble with it. Yeah, and if I don't ever bring it like to the forefront, it don't make it because I don't. I don't. If I don't like it, I ain't giving it to my customers. And I feel like my palate is is, is strong enough to say that. Um, well, and I, I feel really, that you in the food, John. You know, you in the food industry. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't like it, well, you are serve it to other man, ones. I sure, made some crazy like, shit with wings, man. I don't know peanut butter and jelly wings. Huh? You know what's crazy is I just saw that on the show I was right. watching. I don't know the PB and J. Wasn't a fan, but then I learned some new things with this peanut butter, man. I started now de- de- dehydrated. Turned it into a powder. You bread it, bread it with it. With the peanut butter powder, you make a powder out of it. like like nuts. Like you fine, make it real fine, and you, you coat it with that, and then you make a your, your sauce to dipping it in the jelly. So I took a different approach when I started re, re, rewriting that. <laughs> it worked now. Okay. So you might see that one day, and I might call it PB and J, but you ain't gonna see it. Like even like. The peanut butter, at it, but it's, it's different when you bite it. You like, oh shoot, yo, I taste like peanut butter, but you don't, you don't have the texture. So yeah, you know, I play. I was playing around apple cider wings. I've done, done, man, so many different types: orange, ginger, cilantro, orange, orange, ginger. That joint um, good, yo. That joint didn't make it. Bang bang garlic, man. I man, I'm telling. You. Bang, bang 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 garlic. Bang bang garlic. That's that's one that's actually coming out soon. I wrote that one recently. That's coming out soon. I, I perfected that one. So that's gonna be a nice one. That's gonna be Word. a nice one. Bang yeah, bang yeah. garlic. So look. Yeah, I'm trying to write this new this new truck I'm trying to build gonna be a wing truck. Forty different sauces. Forty? Yeah. Oh, that shit could be riding around yeah, all day. It's gonna be a big bread. wing truck coming. Coming. That's what that, that's one of the next missions. Yeah, so wing truck, about forty sauces. Can we talk about the wing shortage? I'm sorry, Wes, this is not my wing answer. shortage. But, you know, since we have a little question, we talk about <laughs> a wing shortage. So you know what's funny, right? I look at things a little bit different. Um, Cause think about it, like chickens aren't like scarce, bro. Every chicken has the same amount of legs, wings, thighs. You know what I'm saying? If they if they have enough thighs, why well, not no wings? They all the same. They all come from the same. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everyone it's eight cuts. You know what I mean? That's how I look at it. And I just think that the wing is eaten at a higher rate. So they said, yo, 
We used to get these for 12. Now we're paying 24. We can just double up. They're going to buy them anyway. It's all about manufacturing the big, the big box, the big, the bigger companies. Trust, because Wingstop was selling thighs. Thighs, yo. Yes. Like at one point, they wouldn't even sell a wigs. They nah. would sell a thighs. Because it wasn't as good. $180 either. a case. It was, it was like $65 a case. You know, $180 a case. One time, like, man, they, that wing price, that wing shortage was crazy. I did the same thing. I think Wingstop. Uh, shout out to Rose. Um, <laughs> for those Rose. those thighs, man. Like he, that was a smart move. That was a good, that was a good lateral move. You know what I mean? Thigh meat actually, I prefer thigh over any part of chicken anyway. It's a juicier part of the chicken. It's a juicy. I think part. it was cooked right, yo. Like I don't think thighs necessarily are great when they're fried. Like um, you know what I'm saying? Like a bonus. fried chicken. Don't like you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. It, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's really hard to fry the jaw like a, the perfect way all the time, yo. I mean, it's just kind of like temperature control. I mean, everyone in, a, in our household think that the oven only has one temperature, 350. <laughs> Put it on 350. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. Deep fried, same thing. Put it on 350. Nah. <laughs> all my stuff got different temperatures. Everything I cook has different temperatures. Um, cause you gotta kind of learn the temperature control piece, but those thighs, man. That's the I think three fifty is just like the the look, look. That's the <laughs> template, yo. Like everything starts at three fifty. Put it on three fifty, even though if saying? you read so, the box and say four seventy five. What we got going on here, like three fifty yeah. is gonna cook the same way, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That shit gonna cook. You wonder why your piece of limp? Uh, yeah, you, you got you, you, you that day you, you did the cauliflower crust. Just keep it on there, and you cut that three fifty. You got it. What? Dang, cauliflower didn't stay together. You, just, you just put it on a little extra. You just keep it on a little extra longer, yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you keep the temperature right. You throw something on 425. You ain't used to that. You gonna forget, burn that shit. Shit Man. be all fucked up. Then you have to order some real pizza. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, listen. yeah. I mean, that happens too, man. Even even the greatest of all greats that cook in the kitchen, they burn stuff, man. Yeah. You know, it happens. It happens. But you threw a cauliflower pizza crust out there, like, bro, like, I, I like everybody is just out there eating cauliflower bro, pizza crust, yo. Like, so, so I, who's even who in here other than him has even had a cauliflower yeah. pizza crust? Man, if you cutting those carbs, that yeah, cauliflower is a perfect substitute. We do cauliflower wings too. Take the whole nugget, man. You just deep fry, bread it, deep fry, toss it in buffalo wing sauce, and you think you're eating wings? It's just cauliflower. I, you can get some bourbon peach cauliflower wings. I haven't even done on the truck yet. Y'all just wrote that right now. We're gonna run them. I'm gonna run them. We're gonna run them. We're gonna run them. We're gonna run them. That's for my vegans out there. That's for my vegans out there. That's a fact, yo. Listen. Yes, yes, yes. Pull up, pull up. That shit is crazy, yo. But man, cauliflower is a perfect like cauliflower really do make a good crust for your pizza, and it cuts that carbs, man. You don't have to eat the carbs. Yeah, I probably. I don't even think you know. She said, "Oh, uh, my mom said I got one in my freezer now." Yes, sir. See, see. She had cauliflower. She be shuffling pizza it up though, so she would know. You know what I mean? Yeah, she be. You know what I mean? She be, she be, she be getting it up. Down, That's what she yo. do. <laughs> she be getting. She be getting down in there, yo. Like, but, listen. My mom's be getting it. Yes, in. yes. You know, but that so. cauliflower, man, it's a it's a good texture. Um, I always say it, you, you actually cook it on high temperatures. That way, it's not soggy. So mm -hmm. if you want to get, you want to draw all those juices out, kind of like moisture. You want to so get like, that moisture. So like not just the crust, like the whole base of the pizza is cauliflower. Cauliflower. And then yeah, you put the sauce bonded. on there. Yeah, and, and it, you like pick, that. you cut it like a regular pizza. Pick it up, hold its shape. Yeah, but see that would look like a thin crust pizza. See, I don't really like thin crust pizza, yo. Order what? Every every pizza place sold now. No money pizza Hut, no Domino's, cauliflower pizza, look, Joe, Papa yo. John's. Everybody got cauliflower crust now. I'm, I'm not putting no money towards that, bro. <laughs> I'll buy you wild. one. You gotta try. It. I got look. these niggas is wild, bro. Order one. I'm look telling you. Kendra said. Kendra said I like cauliflower pizza crust. I told Why you. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Oh. Cauliflower. You want some cauliflower wings? Yeah, that's a, that's a heck of a sub, bro. It's good. I'm not trying that. 
<laughs> I'm not trying that, yo. It's already on the wing. So, like, I'm going to eat it on the wing. I'm not about to eat it on the cauliflower. I already know what it tastes like on the wing. What am I going to do that man. for? That's just for those. <laughs> Fuck my whole shit up. Some people would change them diets. That's for a nigga that's never tried those first <laughs> and is going directly for Can't go that. back, right? You yeah, like, back. you can't go backwards once you had that. Like, you got to start with those. Them yeah. cauliflower joints, yo, and then like catch one of these by accident and be like, oh shit, like <laughs> I need to switch. But oh, man. listen, my mouth is still. <laughs> I don't know because they'd have been shaped like cauliflower, yo. Like they would have been just, shaped like, like chicken. Like, they didn't look like, look like boneless like chicken wings, yo. They look like they boneless, like boneless chicken, chicken wings. Like they all kind of, you know what I'm saying? Big ones, small ones. Yeah, no. Um, but there's this restaurant that makes, um, uh, it's called Maggie McFlies. Um, Maggie McFlies. They make um, cauliflower, Asian zing cauliflower wings, bro. Ooh. Asian zing. They put the Asian zing on the cauliflower. Bruh, they make though? it. They make their own Asian zing, bro. It's so so good. Yeah, like they put the Asian zing in the cauliflower. You ever had Asian zing wings? I've, I had the wings. Yeah. They're really good. Yeah. They're cauliflower wings. Put that shit on cauliflower, yo. I just promote their business. They gotta pay me now. But bro, they <laughs> cauliflower. He's sending some free wings, bro. They cauliflower wings, bro. Oh man, so good. It's so good. It's so good. Yo, yo, yo. What up? What up? What up? In the building, Miss Shawnee Lord just came in the building. She'll come up here and try one of these wings, but she got a white shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, these wings is the truth, yo. Hello. How you been? Follows we got up on everything. Yeah. Uh, Follows up there. 16 people watching right now. Yeah, you, no, you got to come in and sit down, yo. Oh, yeah. Come in and sit down. How y'all doing? We good. Miss Shawnee Lord here. Shani. Shani, a lawyer here. Something about Virginians, they always call me Shawnee. Shawnee. Shawnee, a lawyer. Literally. And it's Shani, a lawyer. Shani, That's okay, Shani a lawyer. As long as we get you that know what I'm saying? Right, that's okay. She's in here, you know what I'm saying? She got the, the new uh, video and everything. Oh, it's man. It's already on. The Take It Away video is coming. The Take It Away check, video. Check, check. You know what I'm saying So Yeah that's definitely coming You know we've been in Holding it down We were talking You know he's a chef And everything We were talking about the food Bro, this, And all this that your stuff wings. like that These his this wings peach bourbon. Like, you got, now, You're here You're in the hot seat now So you have to eat A peach bourbon yeah, wing She in the hot seat Come on let me pass her a fork yeah, She oh, in the hot seat now. Not the white <laughs> I know That's what I said <laughs> Just don't make a mess on, I yo. came feeling godly Godly Okay Bless bless Hold on I'll do it Hold on one time Hold on You know what the rider can wait. Hold on, <laughs> we hold it. Hold that one time. I'm going to try to wing. We hold. I like flats. Yeah. I go for the flats all the time. What is this? You about to see? What, 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 what flavor are we rock with? Peach, peach bourbon. bourbon. Peach bourbon. Okay. Peach bourbon. I'm going in. I'm going in. She's like, going in. She's going to taste it. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy dance, y'all see this? Y'all see this? It's a happy dance. Let your tongue hit the sauce right on a different angle. I'm sorry, y'all viewers. I don't eat pretty. Nah, we done already fucked them up on the air, yo. I done already fucked up like three of them tones on the air. Oh, oh, it's in my oh, lap now. There you go. There it's you in go. my lap now. Go. <laughs> Look, man, don't get me shot. No, <laughs> me. no, and my man pull up in here like, first off, fuck your bitch in the <laughs> Like, no, he ain't doing that. <laughs> yeah. She was getting her own sauce. Mm. Yeah. Right. I get this sauce yeah, off. Cool. I get this sauce off. Cool. She dropped she breaking, ball, now She's breaking the bone. This is a new technique. She's breaking the bone. Oh, see, if, uh, if I went through the bone or through the bristles, never broke the bone, got all the meat out. The sauce is crazy. Y'all ever heard ask them hoes? Uh -oh. That'll she teach you how to eat chicken. Eat the bone. Yeah, yeah. I told you I it wasn't meat. It was just a whole thing about this. Mm. Yeah. About I sharing their lord. I eat that chicken mm. right. She is crushing this wing, yo. Stream that shit. Like, Sorry, listen. She is crushing that shit. I came a little tipsy. 
A little something else can't say it on here. Hey. Shout out to the U.S. Army. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, she is crushing that, that wing, cool. yo. That so thank you know so that much. wing is thank amazing. You, thank you, thank you. I'll be booking you. <laughs> please, for my please. second wedding Amen. in 2033. Oh, boy. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> boy, she said 2033. Yo. <laughs> That's 10 years away. <laughs> this nigga be, be retired States. from the game then. I don't know. 10 years? That's my retirement plan. Yeah, I'm moving to. Honduras that somewhere. fucking wing was crazy. I want y'all to let. I want to let everybody know. Listen, that and wing it's powered by Virginia Universe. That that wing was crazy. Amen. Mm. Oh, listen, and we all know. It. We all have wings in here, yo. Like we in here crushing. Mm. It was a lot. That play. That thing was yeah. full. It was a wing. Mm. It was a twenty piece. That's where <laughs> I put my wing, my little bones over there. Nah, you do you good, shrimp. Yeah. What shrimp? Oh, Who I said shrimp? shrimp? Somebody po said shrimp. There's one shrimp po boy left. Yeah. Uh, y'all trying to do wait? Let me, no, yeah, we are yeah, gonna save yeah, that yeah, for the yeah, end yeah. of the show. <laughs> uh, y'all, y'all about to have me on here crushing. This ain't no move, Bong. <laughs> I ain't be loves. Wait no. a minute, you got to pay to see me choose. <laughs> no, buddy. We ain't here getting it in, yo. <laughs> we ain't no, here getting it in for sure, yo. Shout out to you. Shout out to Loud. Shout out to the Power by Virginia Network. The show. Shout out to everybody having me here tonight. Thank you so much. Trust, trust. You need to do her show, yo. I'ma come to yours. What? Thank you. Let me. Let me. Friday, seven o'clock, the Golden Nugget Hour. You are more than welcome. Fridays. Okay, I like that. Something about me want to spit on Fridays. Friday night boys. I knew he was coming on the side with that. I knew he was coming on the side. He always be like, yeah. But look, look n- man. niggas always be like, yeah, I'm ready to spit. And you like Friday night bars and then nobody shows up. I do a double. Let's go I'm with the Friday night bars. bars. Shout out to Friday night bars, oh, man. I have. Tickets on sale. Tickets on sale. Man. It's loud. No, I didn't come with that. I didn't come with that tonight, but I did want to let y'all get in on an exclusive if y'all will have me. Yeah, send it to Loud. All you right. Let's do that. You know right what I'm now. saying? We're going to get into some exclusive, Shannon right. and Laura. Yeah, we're doing we the here. rollout for Take It Away right now. Take It Away is very serious to me. You know, um, I do want to let y'all know that it's very serious. I don't play no games when it comes to Take It Away or the mental health series because that's not a topic that you play with. Okay, people are dying every day because they don't want to talk about what bothers them. They're scared that in the social media age, they're not cool enough or it hurts too much to talk about it or somebody's going to laugh, you know, and I'm here to tell you, listen, let them laugh because they're going to laugh at me too, but I'm going to be laughing too when I go to the bank teller. I'm going to be fine. So it's like at the end of the day, do what you got to do. Make sure that you're okay first before that job before that friendship before that relationship before all that make sure you're okay because nobody's going to care about you more than you care about you that's all that i wanted to say but um yeah we'll take it away out already take it away dropped november 11th of 2021 but the video is just now coming and i'm happy that i'm able to put a visual to it so that y'all can get more of a picture of what i was trying to depict so yeah, but um, I'm gonna send this 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 new song song through. She about to email it to you. I'm gonna send this through. This is definitely not in the mental health series. <laughs> <laughs> it might put you in the mental health series, <laughs> and uh, I'm telling you, cause uh, it's not on that. It's not on that at all. I'm about to email it to loud. Facts. Powered by Virginia Radio. Powered by Virginia Radio. At gmail.com. Trust. Anybody that's been up here at least once already got that saved and they automatic pop up. Yeah, they automatic <laughs> pop ups for the email joint, yo. If you say if you do music and you done sent music to loud before, that shit is already in your email. Okay. So you should be in everybody. That shit pop email. up in all caps. <laughs> like you know who it Trust. is. All big letters too, <laughs> yo. Like you can't even say you didn't see it. Mm. Shout out to Lyle, yo, keeping shit going here.
You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the two people that's here in the audience in the back there that got shows up here too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely check their joints out Fridays and Tuesday nights. You know what I'm saying? Tap into what they got going on. You know, that's a fact. And you might see me on one of their shows. You know what I'm saying? So. Trust. Trust, trust, y'all, should, y'all gotta come on my show. So look, so like, listen, real quick, before while I was doing things with the song, so you know, like, I got a show here. My show here is on four twenty. So listen, it's gonna be. <laughs> I can't really show I don't know excitement what, about that. I don't, but I'm happy. <laughs> I, I don't know, yo. The luck, the luck of the the luck of the draw, yo. So my shit gonna be crazy on it. I don't even know what kind of show we gonna have, yo. This should be this bit. Well, I can't smoke, slump. but can I get a drink with y'all? Slump. Can I drink with y'all? Yeah, you I can't smoke, but I can do that. Oh, we need another cup. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, I got this company that I deal with. Um, I don't smoke. That's a disclaimer out here real quick. Okay, yeah. disclaimer. I, I don't smoke, but it's a company called I Smoke. Um, it's um, it's promoted by uh, no, no, no. It's promoted by a guy named AJ. Um, and he in the seven five, literally <laughs> out of Norfolk, and he has a whole store. Good, good quality stuff, man. Um, that, I'm doing yeah, some cooking stuff with them soon. With, Infusions? Uh, some yeah, yeah. You're going to infuse the We're peach bourbon? Some. Yes, oh, I am. I am. I am. Really, I am. I am, yes. Yes. Infuse it? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh, and uh, the company, um, if he he following us up here now. I would like for him to kind of tag the, put it up here. He can put his brand up there. It's all good, right? Listen, That's come cool. to my show, okay. yo. Hit me up. Wow. Look, somebody up. put the wild face. I'm yeah. doing it too. <laughs> like, did I really just... <laughs> put the wild face? Okay. So, so when you say, what's going to be your levels on the? Infusion? So the only reason I haven't released it yet is because that's the part of the science piece that okay. I'm still working out. Mm-hmm. Um, because I don't want to get you to the point where you don't want to eat. It. I kind of want you to kind of, yeah, you know, just kind of, kind of get a happy medium, you know. Cause it's a low, it's a low, and I don't want really want you kind of out of. I kind of want you to, kind of want more. So we playing around with CBD as well. So so like so it's funny you said that because I got a dude named Tank right. His wife cooks, and she does a lot of infused foods, and she does these wings, these um, garlic parmesan wings, and she infuses them. So like, first of all, like a twenty piece is like seventy five dollars. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Because of the because of the buzz and shit in there and shit like that, so when we be at the studio recording, like we be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm gonna order some wings real quick. You know what I'm saying? Get them to come through. Listen, about two wings in, just be quiet in that bitch. Yo. Yeah, like everybody's dumb high. You know what I'm saying? Plus, we already you know been smoking and shit and doing all that. But yeah, the infused wings is crazy. It's a crazy game. You can get into it. You can make a lot of bread once you get it right. Yeah, and that's that's the thing, man. A lot of people infuse cookies, food. Oh, yeah, they I really don't like you know the science. They just kind of get the oil and just dump it in there. Like, hey, I got some wings they infused. I got some I cookies. Some infused ribs. But um, I got mm. you. I got you. Mm. Um, infused ribs. Now we're talking, yo. Like, infused ribs. Shit, you know, I'm to talk about yo. Like, <laughs> I want that shit to come off the bone, yo, and oh. have a taste of weed oh. on it, yo. Like, no. Listen. Get a little mashed yeah. potato on the side. Stop playing with it. Stop playing with it. Stop playing with it. Look, look. If you. What's good, y'all? Go. I just tapped in over here on Shani Allure Universe. No word, word, How y'all word. doing? What up, people? We live. What's good? What up, what up? We here, mm-hmm. Round Table Podcast, yo. Round Table Podcast. You know what I'm saying? Powered by Virginia Radio. We sure in y'all peach bourbon wings and shrimp <laughs> po' boys. <laughs> Taking shots of tequila, yo. And infused ribs. Getting high. Talking about infused foods. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If you've been watching, you know, Chef TJ Walk over there been How y'all doing? giving the goods on, you know what I'm saying, a lot of things. And he's giving us some great food here. To see his stuff up front. Um, Lily Greens, uh, Presser 
the damn, Rolling, Press. Rolling, Rolling Press, Press Cafe. Cafe. You know what I'm saying? Down in Norfolk. So, <laughs> definitely, yo. Like I'm, Your mom said you're going to crush those ribs. I would crush okay. them. I would crush them Look. shit. Your infused ribs, bitch. You give me a so. whole rack of them bitches. I, I <laughs> sleep eating them off the like bone, home. bitch. Like I get through half of them Jones and be <laughs> done. Wait back up. Take a bite. Trust. Me, eat some more, yo. <laughs> like, it's that type of time right there. That's a fact, yo. That shit's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, Lau, you got everything. Lau over there just, I love Lau. Yo, he just loud be in the cloud. And he just be rolling with the punches. He just be in his <laughs> own shit or some positive vibes all the time. He ain't never on that. So, right. I love Lau. So, we got, so Lyle. we was doing that to fill a time while Lau was setting up the song and everything like that. So, you got the song set up. Let's go. Let's get it. This is, um, I go by the party princess, but I have an other side of me, and I call that side the rhyme slayer. And that is the side of me that just wants to rap. <laughs> just want to rap, you know? And that side loves the composition in hip hop. Um, hip hop has composition. No matter what you say, it has composition. Yeah. And that side of me loves the composition in hip hop. The party princess, I just make bops. But. The Round Slayer is coming. So Sarah Connor is it embodies that. Let's Sarah, get it. Sarah Connor. Bitches wanna versus. But looks like they don't write. Patrick Swayze. I'm supposed to battle your ghost right. <laughs> But it's getting harder, gotta move smarter and I'm calculated All about a dollar like four joys I am all about the peace, I speak like heaven You can get our old beef, gon' dead it If you owe me something, homie, don't sweat it Faith too strong, I believe if it's meant for me, I'm gon' get it Bus fully loaded, driving bitches out the rap game, Jerome Bettis I know you don't like me, that's why I cut your fake ass off prosthetic Tell them who you really mad at, we just wanna nap them in your feet Every time you see me like a stop and go Prices up, I'm hot, you can never stop my flow, blood clot You can never hop states and straight dominate, man, I ain't even from this spot Time is money, so I'm running up the clock. Hickory, dickory, doc. You're crazy if you think that hoe is loyal. She's rubber slippery cop. Let me stop. I keep going and going. This shit be draining in the wind. Blowing and blowing. I'm off my leash. Can't tame me. Heart of a lion. I like my meat type gaming. Read the sign. Don't stick your hand in my cage. And if you do, can't blame it. <laughs> Where is Sarah Connor? I came to terminate. Let's go. Yeah, it, it, mm -hmm. yeah. Huh? it's very short. It's very short. That's uh. I thought damn. it cut off. It won't be a surprise. <laughs> nah, you know what I mean. It won't be a surprise if I if I let it go any longer than that. And okay. that's all I'ma say. Okay. Just know that there's a project being. It's in the works, and um, it's coming very soon. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm back. Yeah. Lord, <laughs> uh, a, a project is going to have uh, some things from the mental health series, some things that are swing rap, which is my genre that I created, which is big band jazz and swing mixed with trap beats. Mm. Um, what? Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's coming. Uh, that again? <laughs> <laughs> swing rap. It's big band jazz and swing. Big, band, band. big, big band, band jazz, jazz and swing. Like that. Swing, like that old yeah. shit, like, like them niggas, yeah, doing that shit. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, I used to swing, you know, okay. with my dad. Like okay. Yeah, I used to swing, you know. So it's <laughs> like I brought that to my music. I love that type of music, but I want to mix it with today's time, so you'll find it in different things. Actually, take it away is actually swing rap as well because it's blues. So anything that's Hip hop, you know, mixed with uh, big band jazz and swing and blues or anything like that, 1920 sound, anything like that. That is swing rap. Swing rap. And that's what I'm trying to bring up, you know. Um, man, that old school song, something about it. 
I love it. And you put some trap on it. You yeah, you put some trap on it. You put some <laughs> yeah, hip hop on sauce. it. That's you put, you know what I mean? You put, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you put, put that stank on, on it. On it yo. You put that stank on she it. You put know the what I mean? on it. So I, I really wish I could let y'all hear <laughs> something right now from that genre. Like I said, the, what you have from it already is stay. Stay. I released that on around Christmas time. And um, take it away is somewhat swing rap because it's blues, but you ain't ready for what's coming. <laughs> I would just say that you ain't ready. I, I'm not hyping it up. I'm telling you, I wild myself. I wild myself. So it's 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 gonna be an amazing journey. I can't wait to share that with y'all, and I can't wait till everybody can see what I've been working on. That's all. <laughs> no, that's definitely that's definitely factual. Like I'm interested in hearing that form of rap you know with that type of beat to it because that's something that like i don't know like i gotta hear it mm -hmm. to really you know what i'm saying get the grasp of what she's saying you know what i'm saying like it's on it's on like the streaming sites and all that already no the the okay so stay is stay mm -hmm. by shania lord that's on the streaming sites okay it's a little bit more it's um a little bit more upbeat, everything like that. But the representation for swing rap, that single is not out yet. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because I'm taking my time with this single. Like I want to make a stamp in music. I don't wanna make a stamp in hip hop. I wanna make a stamp in music. So I want them to know that swing rap is a genre Shania Laura came to one day because I couldn't choose between the two. I was like, I wanna do hip hop, you know? I wanna b-boy, I wanna break, but at the same time, I wanna swing. So how do we mend these two, you know? And that's what I came up with. She just did it. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you're familiar with Ray Charles, you'll know my first single from the swing rap genre. Dope. That's all I will say. Oh. <laughs> it hit me like that. <laughs> Yeah, you know, she's just like, oh, I, know I got it. Yeah. You will be familiar with the swing ride genre. If you are familiar with Ray Charles, shout out to him. Shout, shout, bless me. Yeah, I mean, shout out to Ray Charles. They couldn't see the vision, but we did. That's a fact. So, yeah, I'm definitely on the lookout for swing rap. It's the entendre for me, and he's the only I, one that I got, got it. it right? <laughs> I started laughing, right? I said, okay. Is he the only one to say I just started laughing to myself, and I was like, oh, God, I, I ain't going to say it out loud, but. <laughs> He's the only one that could see the vision for me. Right, Charles? Can't see. Can't see. Oh, God. <laughs> I just, just kind of looked off, and I just started laughing to myself. But I, I caught it. I caught it immediately. I said, oh, shoot. Okay, all right. I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was good. Wow. That yeah. was good. That was good. That was good. I was love good. entendres. Like, entendres. Double entendres, triple entendres. I love them. I fell in love with them when I found out what a bar was. <laughs> when I found out, like, what a bar was. Like, a lot of people can rap, but a lot of people, you ask them, what is a bar? Like, break down your bar, 16 bars. And they'll be counting 20. They'll be counting 24. You know what I mean? So, and I was one of them. So I can say that, and that's okay. <laughs> but you learn. You know, you live and you learn. And I'm telling you something about this. It is something about it. It's something about it. Something about this song is different. Something about this this genre is different. Yeah. It feels right. It feels very right. Like, what you just heard of Sarah Connor, that's all fun and everything like that. And, yeah, I could rap. You know, I got bars and all that stuff. You know, I felt that strongness of your Sarah Connor in that. Like, mm. I didn't even hear it so good as here. You know what I'm saying? I felt just I'll like send you the script. exclusive. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, arms. <laughs> okay. No, for real. I just started doing my planks again. Them things beat me. The bourbon in the wind. For real, them things in. beat me. But look, <laughs> planks. Them things beat you. It's you against you. It's you against the clock. All you gotta do is put your phone in front of you, put the timer on, and just hold that. You be like this. I got this. How long you do it at the time? I might. I this got this. Oh my God, one thirteen. A minute thirteen. Literally one thirteen. That's a long time. One thirteen, and I was like this. U.S. Army, you ain't raised no pulse. <laughs> I got this. Look at me, I'm sweating. Quit nah, playing. I'm thinking about that. it. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> like no, mm -mm. It, planks are nothing to play with. They're nothing to play with.
your core. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get tight right now. Seems like it would make your forearm strong. Listen, ladies, if you listening forearm. right now, let me tell you something. Ain't no, ain't no such thing as an hourglass figure. Let me tell you something about this illusion. You make, you do your arms, work your arms, work your arms, and then you work your legs, you work your hips, you work your these whatever these is love handles. If you ain't got nothing, make some. And then this part right here, it don't really shrink. You just make everything else bigger. That's yeah, that's what you do. She yeah. said. See. <laughs> she said the stomach don't really shrink. It don't. You it don't really shrink. You might lose some bigger. fat and all that stuff, but <laughs> it, the hourglass shape is an illusion. Like you, the hourglass shape, man. Look, Look man. Nah, yo, some of these bras is out here. Some okay. Of these bras is out here all the way. Hourglass, yo. I'm <laughs> saying, though. I mean, you could go lay on that table and all that stuff, and that's cool. I'm, I'm not telling nobody to go lay on the table. But if you do lay on the table, I'm saying, be safe. <laughs> be safe. So look, so look, so that's 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 something, yo. Because like I be seeing people on TV, they be like, oh, I'm going to, you know, what I'm Miami. <laughs> nah, Doctor nah. Miami is played out now. <laughs> Doctor Miami, Doctor Miami, Miami people yeah. that was under Doctor Miami been past him. They're like, so yeah, like, he laid out. Now. be like, yo, I'm going to the Honduras, or I'm going here. Like, yeah. I be like, yo, like. Anyway. I know, like the surgery. The Honduras kill left eye. The surgery I'm not going game there. ain't really like that See, down there. Like I'm that, not going you know, there. Like, you going down there? They, let, they kill left eye. Kind of suspect shit. You know what I'm saying? No. But everybody be flocking down there. And yeah, then, like, like my wife cheap. watched this show with K. Michelle, where she yeah. go yeah. around yeah. with people it's called, with it's, the bot yeah. shit. Yeah. And like, yeah. I watched one of them episodes. I was like, yo, like, yeah. oh. And big ups, to, big ups to K. Michelle for actually letting people know. No, I don't want to say that. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why I don't want to say that. Because I you, this show came out before everything else happened. And did anybody ever notice that came and show looks very different? Yeah. She looks very different, right? Like she got rid of some shit, but then she did some shit to she her face. She got rid of a face. Yeah. like she And got traded a, whole, a face. How you doing? a new face. How you doing? Come over here and give me a hug. Come on, give me a hug. You can, you can give me a hug. Come in on. The building. Let's go. I was about to get over here and do that. What the fuck? Troy. I love you. There's all doing? love here. Mm. Let's get it. Any show, <laughs> anytime. Yes. Back to the Kay Michelle face. Speezy. Speezy. Yeah, she did get a whole new face. Like yeah. she, she got I'm, the shit all fixed up, and then and she I can't was like, hate well, on I the might face. Might as well get a new face too. I can't hate on the face because the face is crazy. The face, yeah. the face is wild. Okay. She was though. That's the crazy part. She was already, she was already beautiful naturally. And it's a certain look that you get when you get surgery on your face. It's a certain look. Yeah, I don't know if the doctors have a picture of what they want to make you look like, but there's a certain look. And after that, you don't look like you no more. You look like industry. Yeah. You're yeah. just industry now. You melt in with everybody else <laughs> on the red carpet. You don't stand Yo. out. I want to look like me. I like my big nose it's amazing. and my crooked eyebrows. I Yo. like my crooked smile. I like my my small top lip and my big bottom one. I like all that, man. Don't don't put me don't put nothing in my face. I'm good. Okay. Real, look, man. Doctor Castor, shout out to you, man. You was taking care of my teeth. They good now. They wasn't good in the, They wasn't good at first. My shit was like. Trust. I think that's. I think that's crazy. the only thing I think I would ever do is like really just like go get like my whole grill. Your shit. teeth, yeah. You know what Your I'm teeth? saying? Like mm -hmm. that'd be the only shit like I would do. You know, like fuck all the other shit. Like, yeah. Like, you, you, got any you could do your teeth. We're doing your teeth and End up like Steve Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> that man be like, and you tell what what he did to boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, no, we, we don't want to be no. Steve Harvey or Mr. Nah, Ed. Yo, he got those oh. big ass teeth. Yo. No, no, shit. those just too big. They be throwing anything in people's grill. <laughs> like you gotta be there and, and present when they're too. designing your yeah, teeth. Like he had a lot of money too, and he still left you out like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta like, be there. Like that to fill up his mouth. They he just did. threw him in there and was like, "You like these?" He was like, "Yeah." Well, see, they be trying to give everybody. <laughs> See, they be trying to give everybody like the full set of teeth, like the, the whole, whole thirty-two. Like right. everybody mouth ain't designed to have Maybe the I full need six 32. in the front. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I mean, like, Maybe I just need six. When they get yeah. a new mouth, like they get new teeth and shit like that. No, they charge by the tooth though. Yeah, I know. 
So I'm saying though, if you know you you don't need that many, why are you spending that bread? You spending for a whole thirty two, you only need six. Cause you like, listen, I might as well just get the whole shit done and get the full thirty two. That's how bro. I feel. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, get the I'm gonna look 30- at the bank account like, all right, let me get that six. Run that back. <laughs> let me get that six. Take them thirty two out, <laughs> and we are gonna do that six. I got the <laughs> Listen, okay. if I got the bread for the full thirty two, smile for this one. Full thirty two. <laughs> The full 32. Nice. I'll change the whole structure of my face. But you got to think sometimes too, man. That's why some people have to get the plastic surgery when they get certain things because right. it does that. And now they have yeah. to have a face towards the yeah. whole teeth jaw reach. That that they I would have. have to do that. That's why Me. you see, you, you I see already a lot got of broads. that thing. Yeah, like you even see a lot of broads like in the industry. <laughs> I already that got, got that real, thing, like, man. Chiseled chins, yo. And it's Look. because of the teeth they got. Man. You know what I'm saying? So. Put some new teeth in this mouth, you're going to need a whole jaw reconstructive <laughs> surgery. It yeah. ain't the same. Even my babe gonna say, this ain't the same. <laughs> this ain't the same. What did you got going on? Blessings. Blessings. God created your face just right with your teeth, your structure, your chin, your nose, your lips, and all that. Our imperfections make us perfect. You better know that shit. Facts. <laughs> Come on. Tea spills, y'all. Yes. <laughs> Why is she even still here? I like that. But J. Cole, like, what J. Cole say? He said, they're going to love you for your crooked smile. It was like 9.45. She was what? gone for a long time. And then she just popped back up. She was gone That's for good. a while. And then, she just, and then she just popped back because a message you can't stop a message by a door she dropped she had to tell a message no she was she had to send that unless you just sit in the car she was gone yeah she had to come back and say that she was gone she was gone for like an hour 3745 i'm weak yeah Yeah, she was gone for a minute 945 oh yeah she was done she She came back she went to the 7-eleven was like wait let me let me go back she was like wait a minute i got something to say i got something to say at the end of the day when you got something to say it don't matter who you got to get that message across Wings, she came right back <laughs> over here to say that. Okay. That's what's That's up. Shout funny. out to T-Spills for coming in real quick and Shout out to dropping her. a little jewel. Shout out to her. Definitely. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to Mika back there. Podcast Friday Nights. Podcast Friday Nights. Um. Shout out to Willie back there. Podcast Tuesday Nights. Check them out. Chef TJ Walker. Make sure you check out his food. Go to his pages. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Find out when the food truck is going to be somewhere close to you. And get this, get these wings, yo. <laughs> get this po' boy. And get whatever else he got on the menu. Get like, them what else wings, is on the man. Menu, get them wings. No, 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 no. Yeah. Get them wings. I'm going to tell you something <laughs> about them wings. Let me tell you something about the wings. When I bit into them wings, my top lip, it was quivering. And it was great. <laughs> and then there was a little piece of drool that came down, but y'all ain't get to see it because I'm great like that. And so, <laughs> just get them wings. You said there was there was bourbon, peach bourbon, peach, peach bourbon, bourbon. Uh, not just bourbon but there? peach bourbon, peach bourbon. And I, I I tasted the peach, but I didn't want to be too kind. So to the peach, you know. So I didn't want to <laughs> tell nobody that it came from the peach. I wanted it all to come from him. So I'm saying, get you some peach bourbon wings from yes. my man right here. Yes. That's all. Go up and get them, yo, because these shit is crazy. Peach bourbon. That's been the hot commodity tonight, huh? Yeah. But I, extensive been, menu, y'all. It's a whole lot, a whole been lot the talk more, of man. The Loud House tonight is the Peach <laughs> Bourbon. Wings. Where you located at? Um, <clears throat> my restaurant's in downtown Norfolk, 500 East Main Street. <coughs> um, food truck is anywhere. I could be Let's anywhere. Go. Maryland, Pennsylvania. Let's go. He got right. the food yeah, truck. Yeah. Let's go. Tap in, y'all. I'm telling you, anywhere. I, say, like, I could be in Hampton. I could be I did not nah, expect nah, that. Nah, nah, I did not expect nah. the food truck. Anywhere. Anywhere. No limitations. Dude. All right. Well, I no got a limitations. show in Austin, Texas. Can you be there by the 15th? <laughs> Private chef Travis Walker can be there. <laughs> I'll be there with the food and my staff. Let's go. We can get it. We Let's get go. It. Yeah. Truck won't be there. We gonna get it. You can get that food. Yeah, staff, bro. Yes, Truck. yes. We gonna be there. Let's go. Listen, the wings have definitely won the night, yo. They did. Yeah, they man. Um, <clears throat> see, it's a seafood truck. It's land and seafood was called, but the basis of it is seafood. But we kind of, of course, we got. Some allergens out here, so we definitely make sure we tap in on other things. Um, but the main thing on the truck, though, we really do move a lot, a lot of fried corn. I'm telling you, bro. Fried corn. Yeah, you said that earlier. Never so heard it. Fried corn. corn. Yeah, yes, she fried. The fried corn. Fried Tell me about corn. this fried corn. What's going on with the fried whole, corn? A whole cob. 
spread it fried and make a sauce with agave. It's, it's real. It's like that. I'm. T- it's like that. It's so wet. When we go off air, I'll show you some pictures. But yeah. I'm telling you, it, it's real. It's real. What's your Instagram handle? Please drop that for the yeah, people. It's, it's Lily Reens, just like it's spelled on the shirt, L-I-L-L-I-R-E-N-E-S-757. Oh, yeah. All right. Please follow that because I am. <laughs> telling you. We do a lot of fried fish, too. A lot of fish, bro. Fish and shrimp combos. Um, I like a catfish, but am I being too modest with the catfish? Like, what's the best fish that you fry? Did I fry? Yeah. Mm. Like the best fish that you fry that you get the um, best feedback for on. For me, I like I like flounder. That's kind of my, my route because um, it's flaky. Yeah. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's not a tough bite or anything like that. So, flounder is by far my, my choice. My choice anyway. <laughs> Um, I also got these crab hush puppies on the truck. Oh, wait, 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 run it back. Crab hush puppies. Crab hush puppies. Hot commodity. Let's all say it in unison. Crab hush puppies. You ain't never heard that before. You ain't never heard that. Miss No. All you heard was them dry ass hush puppies you got from the goddamn buffet. <laughs> and just dry as hell. And you was mad. You was like, can uh, I get an extra sweet tea? And it was like, we ain't got. She said, get an extra sweet tea. <laughs> so let's just puppy. go ahead and drive up to this truck and get the right ones with yes. the crab infused into it. <clears throat> you know what I mean? That thing still be pricking. Let's get it. Crab mm. hush puppies, yo. Crab hush puppies. Man. Crab hush How'd puppy. you come up with that? That was a dream. That was a dream. I had a dream. <laughs> He had like a dream Mar- like Martin, Martin Luther. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I had a dream like Martin Luther, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I dreamed it. It's crazy. Can't wait to taste your dream. Yeah, you like that, bro. Damn, that was wet. Crab hush puppy, yo. <laughs> That's crazy. Yo, he be over there with the delayed <laughs> laugh. It be so funny. It be so funny because, like, y'all. I'm no comedian, but I'd be funny for real. I'd be catching it. I don't think anybody else in the room catching like, it. That's the thing. He'd be, be catching his it, laugh you know, be delayed because he'd be, tra- he be trying to think if somebody else going to catch yeah, the I'm funny. Yeah, like, all right, anybody else like, going to catch it? Like, anybody else going to catch it? Well, let me, <laughs> <laughs> let me chuckle. You know, and it's okay. <laughs> but you guys, go get some of his food because it was good from what I tasted. Cheryl said fried corn is delicious. Fried corn? TJ is a great well, chef. Well, I, I was so The hush good. puppies are everything. I was, what? Oh, G came to truck like four oh, times. They came to the. They came. They pulled up to the truck. Yeah, they love the hush oh. puppies. Hush Y'all puppies pulled up. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they know what it is. Well, yeah. if they say it's yeah. good, I'm coming. Yeah. And they came to the truck four times. Bro, she ordered two. <laughs> she had four orders. She ordered two and left. I was like, all right, G. About an hour later, she was like, I just need some more hush puppies. Like, <laughs> Cause I need some more hush puppies. I was like, all right, I got you. I got okay. You. That's yeah, a man. fact. That's how you know. That's a fact. So look, when, it, when if you hear his truck is close by, get to it, yo. God's get some of this. Get yes. some of this food, yo. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know about all the other stuff, but I know that these wings are the truth. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Those things that, have me right that's, there. That's what I do know. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That those wings are the truth. I'm going to try the fried corn. I was about to scat. Yeah, yeah try it, man. You know For real, I'm, I'm gonna try the fried corn. That might be, that might be banging. The fried corn, but, yeah. Listen. Yeah, yeah, try it, man. It's, it's different. Can I dip it in the wings? Them wings sauce? was good though. You, you, you don't have to. The corn. I make a sauce for the corn. Yeah, you trying to do things? Wait. I dip the corn in the wings. In the no. wings, but you ain't got to because no. it already got a corn bourbon. for the sauce, and the corn Ugh. got a corn sauce with the sauce with the corn. I still need the side of that. That oh, didn't man. make no sense. But damn, I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was doing something. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> so look, like I think we drunk off the bourbon wings, yo. We ain't we drunk off the did, bourbon wings. We, we drunk off that tequila. Off. I had off. like off. three good old Jones. Damn, we might be. I only had <laughs> but, one wing, so if I'm drunk off that, then salute, <laughs> salute with the right hand. But nah, but look, <laughs> yo, you know, <laughs> Chef TJ, I want to thank you for coming through. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get you up here for a minute. I know you've been busy. You've been doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely appreciate you coming. Hey, man. Tonight. Glad to be here. Glad you know to what be I'm here. Saying? And bringing me these wings, yo. Bringing us these wings. <laughs> On the wings, bro. Bringing us these wings. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to Shout who told us? Who told us we can't? Who Make orchestrated sure the drinks at the Grammys? Food truck. If it's ever in your area, follow his pages. 
slow. If you in downtown Norfolk, you looking for a place to have lunch or something. I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Breakfast, whatever. They got it. <laughs> Roller Press Cafe. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Shania Law for pulling up. What's up, y'all? Playing the song, talking about a new video that's coming out. Everything. I didn't get to play Take It Away for you guys. And yeah, we didn't get to play that. That's very sad. Um, you know what I'm saying? You'll see the you video soon. check it out, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Loud over there working it. Yeah, man. Shout out to Tanika Brown over there. Her podcast. The Golden Nugget Hour, Friday nights. Willie over there. Podcast Tuesday nights. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. What are we talking about? What are we talking about, yo? So until next week, you know what I'm saying? I'll get with you. Everybody have a good night, yo. Stay smoking. Peace. Stay smoking. Peace, peace, peace. Yeah, we out. Another one. Another one. Another one. Powered by Virginia. Radio.